Oh, get, hey, right here. <coughs> yeah. Get, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is perfect. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the best hour of their day. I'm turning this down. Hold on. And we're, so this... This is oh perfect. We got this, we got sponsorship opportunities this going is, on right now. This is the moment everybody's been waiting for. The whole reason I'm a part of this you're project is for this right event right here. This is this is the moment everybody's been waiting for. Free workout right now. You're clipping like crazy. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, yeah clipping like done. crazy. I know, but I mean, up to you if you want to turn uh, down. But I'm gonna turn down a little bit. Yeah. <coughs> Are you starting or is this go. is yeah. this a practice? Is this on or is this not? I can. Oh God. Bring it up to your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's okay. on. Yeah, yeah, it's on. Oh, that yeah. looks smooth, Jay. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Bro. Oh, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> so yeah. Look at him. Did so you see him looking at are, me like that? We are definitely oh. gonna witness uh, Mr. Jason Ackerman attempt 50 back squats at 185. You yeah, know, we're recording right now, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he wants he wants to say something. Go ahead. Are you live? We're yeah, we're not live. That's not how this works. I don't know how you. <laughs> <laughs> what podcast is this? Huh? What podcast? <laughs> bring, live. bring it up. Bring it up closer so Everybody we can hear you. All right. All right. How do you feel right now? I feel terrible. This is. <laughs> I don't want to do this. You're, I, but you're warmed up. We did bottom to bottom squats. Yes, I'm warmed up from doing bottom to bottom to bottom <laughs> squats, trying to win. <laughs> trying to. How? Wait. How many rounds did you get in bottom to bottom squats? My lowest score was 15. I was hitting 20 for four rounds. Yeah, but that's not how that. We don't no, care. I yeah, yeah. That's not how, low score. It. Low My score. My score is 15. I, yeah. I yeah. One time I held 20. Okay, no one can hear Todd making right. fun of me. So. <laughs> off the air. Now, how confident are you on a scale of one to ten that this is going to happen? By the way, we're going to color. We're going to color commentary this attempt. I have no doubt there will be a lot. I'll of give you. I'll give you my number. It's a. It's a two and 2.4. That's all you have on this, Cassidy. Sorry. Thank you, Joe Maisley. Okay, Joe Maisley is a true. Joe Maisley's the he's no, the he's negatory. He's no. Pat Barber hasn't been it hasn't been significant since every second counts. It's like you live my opinions never been significant. That's beside the point. Great documentary though. It was good. I appreciate you on there. What do we got? Five zero. Unbroken. No. Do you think it's better if you go longer? Does that make it easier? <laughs> so Rob Lawson is a no. Fuck Rob, Rob Lawson's a no. Pat Barber is a no. What was yours? It's a hard no. Connor Murphy's got my back. Where's Connor? <laughs> oh, he's working out. Connor Hollis. Murphy. All right, Hollis Malloy, right? Long time. What do you think? I'll let I'm gonna give Todd back my headset. Yeah, yeah. Do you think? Do you think Ackerman can hit 50 back squats at 185? 50 back squats at 185. I'm broken. I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> Jay. <laughs> He's feeding off of it right now. Where He's feeding off of it. <laughs> Haydock, if he wasn't in the middle of teaching lessons over there, he was a No, he's over that. there. He he's geed up and everything, dude. What, are we, uh, what, what exactly squats. are we waiting for right I don't, now? I think we're just waiting for Jay. Jay, are we... Are, we, are you guys recording? We're recording, We're yeah. live, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're live. We're making this happen. I've done like, you know, 20. so just for context. When? When you did that, and then how much you were training back then? Okay, so two years ago he did a he did a heavy back squat. <laughs> so just for reference, we we are at the trainer summit yeah. in San Diego, and uh, we've been kind of working on professional development all day. Uh, there's a ton of people working out. the The really good part is that there's so many people people are going to get to witness this, good or bad. No. <laughs> yeah, I think you've got a chance. Do you guys do you guys want to make bets on where he fails? Like what what okay. number? Okay. So right. like let's make bets on where he okay. fails. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go 27. Wow. 27. I, think 27. I was gonna go with 41. 41? Dude, I think if you get to 41, 27. my money goes no, to I'd him being doing it. You if think so? Uh -huh. If he gets to 41, I think. If he gets to 41, he, he needs he needs that needs to happen. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you I'm gonna go low ball. So I'm gonna say 24. Oh, yeah. like 24. 24 is he's gonna he's gonna yeah, fail yeah, at 24. There. But if it gets really I mean, I, I did low ball him. I think he's gonna do more than 27. I think I think he's gonna get north of 40. He's he's gonna go somewhere between like 37, 45. I You're think right. that's he, my range. He does get to rest there. 41. Yeah. So he might go higher. I mean, is it rest though? <laughs> there's no. Yeah. Everybody keeps asking if there's a time limit. Like it gets. Bring it up. Like it gets better the longer you wait. That is not no. the I mean, case. I, I, I don't know his capacity. So. It, not much. Right. That's where it's at. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Yeah. That's a completely different bet. <laughs> I still a completely different bet. <laughs> not not the same thing. It's not even close to the All same right. thing. All right, man, are you ready? We All know right. this is possible. Here we go. It's just maybe not possible for him. I think he's yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a di different animal. I've never seen All right, All right Jay. So here's Come on, happening. Jay. He's, he is going to get an assistance getting the bar off of the floor, just so that we all know. We've got video can footage of this. We do, have video, we do have video footage. Can he, can he clean that? Ah. <laughs> Depends on the day. One. There's one. Yep. Oh, he looks strong right now. If he Three. forgets to breathe, it's going way down. Yeah, <laughs> breathe, Jay. <laughs> I'm surprised Joe he's not it up. Joe Maisley is the judge. So Joe Maisley has judge at the games. I think he's prepared for this. Oh, dude. Look at the <laughs> determination. This is solid. He does look angry. I... I do appreciate his willingness to go here. Like, the, the heart is, a lot. is there. This is a lot. This is a lot. Like, this is... To put yourself out I, here like this. I probably pushed it a little too hard today, but we've been <laughs> talking about it for no less than six months. So, at this point... <laughs> he just did a long pause there. He did. I mean, that yeah, was a lot longer long. than... We discussed doing it in front of everybody. But I feel like that opened it too up, much. Open the weekend up. I mean, what are the potential <laughs> injuries here? Like, in all honesty, like, say... Like, Nothing. Could, I mean... You think he could just fold? Like get to a place where like his whole body <laughs> he just he misses <laughs> over the front. <laughs> Watch the computer yeah, here because yeah. the barbells come yeah, forward. Well, so for no, for for anybody that's not done like a super high volume set like this, like I, I've I don't know what you think that, but anytime I've done this, my legs are not the issue. My midline is just turns into a noodle. Right. Like yes. I just can't support. But starting what is today? Today's Tuesday. Starting Thursday, his ability to walk and function is going to oh, be rough. Oh man, where's he at? Twenty. Twenty two. 22? 20. 20. Okay, okay. We're so 20. we're 30 away. There's a pretty, pretty good. good pause. He looks pretty good. He's, he's channeling, channeling, he's channeling, channeling <laughs> his <laughs> inner. He's it can all be point. over right now, Jay. Dude. All you got to do is just let that thing slide <laughs> right down your back if you want to. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I kinda, he's looking strong. I kind of want, I kinda want him to succeed. I mean, now. of course you want him to succeed. I do. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that's what we're here for. I mean, there's a little part of me that wants him to fail, too. I kind of want him to get to 49. <laughs> like I think, I think that would be oh. the, the great. I, oh, like I, I forgot to introduce who's on the podcast. So Pat Barber, Cassidy Walensky, myself, and Todd <laughs> are on the are on the podcast right now. There's a lot of other people. So Adrian Conway's here. Joe Maisley's judging. There's a, Rob Lawson's here. There's a good crew here watching this go down. Dude, he uses his valgus real well. Like, <laughs> I mean, like I mean, it's way you, better than it used to be. I'm pretty sure I've heard that argument of how much torque you get from the hip when it caves. So <laughs> I'm like, I, there's is thirty. It, is it better? That's, That's strong, just, right? He just hit 30. He's moving pretty good. I he's think that great. if he this touches is gonna 40. This is going to happen. Dude, I am. This is going to happen. Yeah. Or, Jay, I'm not going to talk any trash about you for <laughs> at least so a long. At least a week. At least, at least, do this. <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least a week. I think he's got it. I, if he gets to 40, this is a done deal. Done I wouldn't deal. go that far. I'm, I mean. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Yeah, Jay. Come on, buddy. Dude, he's moving at a good speed right here. Yeah, boy. So he's at 38, 39. Oh, my oh, God. 4-0. Oh. Dude, he's, a 40. Oh, he's got it, dude. Dude, this he's is, doing this really good. Game. This is a ball You're game. doing good, Jay. 40. Come on, I've dude. also got to admit that Jay beat me in the open this week as well. So this may be the tight change in this year. He, he, finished. he finished the workout. He also finished the workout. Yeah, yeah. I did not finish the workout. Yeah, I did not either. And then one for good luck. It's Come on, Jay. Come on, bud. Just put it in my face. Give me 75. Five. Oh, five oh come on, Jay. Yeah, you got to give it, buddy. Come on, yeah, buddy. Come on, dude. You're doing good, You're man. Good. Come on. Last you got five couple. reps left. Yeah, that a boy. Oh, Jay. Yes, come sir. Come on. Two. Oh, three. Come on, come Jay. on, dude. You got three reps come left, Come on, dude. Jay. Five zero, big guy. Come on, Jay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Be an F and X. That's your next. That's your yes. next. Yes. <laughs> no way. I did not think he could do that. Oh, he was that way was better than I thought. <laughs> I am so he proud. He just earned himself a sponsorship as well. He's that a, amazing. was amazing. I think Conway said he's going to be an FNX athlete. Yes. <laughs> 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 wow. Dude. Uh, well done. I mean, well that that was done. Was that was good, dude. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh, my. He's so <laughs> fucked right now? Yeah. All right. Come over. All right, come put these on. Come put these on. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> here, here you go. All right, you got to talk us All through right, that. Yeah. It. Listen, I'm. A, I'm. A, on How long did anybody time that? Did you that was. That was probably that? north of like. Yeah, it's, it's probably on video, so we'll find out. It was. It's, that was pretty quick. It was, probably, man. it was probably four or five minutes. Everything about that was better than I expected it to be. <laughs> he just. He, he, no, he did fifty. Oh, he five got zero. all fifty. Five zero. Fifty one. 
Oh, you did 51? Yeah. Listen. For that was that one was for Maisley. Because <laughs> he believed in me. <laughs> we interned together. Listen. We interned together back in the day. Never forget. Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian said he's got a spot for you in the I team. I got a sponsorship FNX. now. FNX, dude. <laughs> FNX. I earned it. I earned it. <laughs> you team FNX. Bruce right. Strange got right. me there. All right, I need you to. I need you to be Talk super honest. It. Talk us through it. At, at right. any point where you're like, I don't know. How a were the first ten? A little bit around 35. Yeah. You started to question it. Around 35, I was like, 15's not a lot, but I was tired. Well, I'm surprised you guys didn't make fun of me, but maybe you did. Nah. <laughs> but I was purposely, like, around the middle. So as long as I was getting depth, I was coming onto my toes a little bit and then almost lifting with my chest. So, and it helped. It, like, took it off my legs. So it kind of helped a little like, bit. Almost like almost like more of a low bar or back squat yeah. position a little bit? And I didn't want it because I didn't want to go too low bar because then I was worried it would fall off. Yeah. But it helped. Um, so my game plan was I knew if I can get to 20 that I could make it. Yeah? I really? I was like, if I get to 20, that's a huge chunk. I could do a set of 30. And Maisley, Joe Maisley, firefighter <laughs> from Boston. <laughs> Somebody wiped the tears away from his oh. eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> he believed in me. He believed in me. He was what the was only your, one, and he's the one that got what me was your And Connor Murphy believed in Connie, me. Connor Murphy did it, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, what was your – did you have it, like, in your – in your in your head, <laughs> he does not look like he's doing <laughs> like well right now. Blowing up. <laughs> Dude, he was pale before he started, you? though. He I just wanted nervous. to get it over with. I knew waiting doesn't get better. Yeah. Were you? Know. How were you counting in your head? Were you doing fives? At first, I wanted to get ten, then twenty, and then I wanted to get to ten, but I was stopping prematurely. But I knew to get to ten, like I would get six, I think, and then just get a couple more. It was like a mix of I didn't want to leave it on my back too long. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, it's terrible. That's it was letting part. me recover a little bit. So I think it's just the way my body works. Listen, we're going to get this on recording. Like I'm proud of you. I Aww. am too, dude. I'm proud yeah, of you. I'm very impressed. And we both admitted that you, you beat us both in the open yeah, yeah. this week. It's a oh, big, man. This I got to week for you. listen to this episode. So physically, you're yeah. superior You know what? I right think now. it is. Is It's the hair. You've cut the hair off, yep. and that's giving it's you strength. It's the reverse of Samson. Yeah. It's the, so it's I got the reverse. reverse. It's the reverse. <laughs> See, here's, I think here's the, here's the if you're painting a picture of me. I'm not very fit or athletic, but I, mentally I think I could do some things that I shouldn't be able to do. You're well, like yeah, Rudy. I mean, <laughs> back when you told me you were making it to the games in the first year of Masters, I knew mentally you thought you could do some things that clearly you can't do. Not so much fitness, <laughs> but like stupid challenges like that. Uh, yes. So I knew I could mentally just push. Or even like the open, for example, when it didn't take any skill, yeah, I knew I can go. Oh, that's great! But I'm really glad I did it. I did I'm going to be. My I'm going to be very honest with you. When you did the first warm-up set, I was really concerned. <laughs> it got better. The first warm-up set, I just had to. The Tabata squats were. Well, going hurting. back to Todd's, the way Todd likes to describe you is the most flexible and flexible person he's ever known. The you're most flexible yeah. shitty mover. I yeah, the most I flexible shitty it. mover. Well, you guys you're had a whole debate last night about somebody. Yeah, your, your, your depth, movement's gotten better. <laughs> your I depth, will say that. Your depth got better as you went through those as well. I just had to balance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jenny actually gave me a compliment this weekend, right, Katie? Katie Powell's over there. And, uh, yeah, Jenny said my friend. But I don't really – the only thing I do to move better is try to move better. Wow. Pretty that's simple. A, that's, that was profound. That, that was is. profound. <laughs> that's what hey, I'm saying. Hey, guys, check out this drill. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> my point. Use that cue. Hey, guys, guess what? Oh, my that yeah. reminds me of the time he told us about the goblet squat like we'd never heard of that before. <laughs> Dude, I do this thing. It's helped my squat a ton. I just hold the kettlebell in front of me. Yeah, and I, just I push do it a out. Squat. But as I go down, I push it out. <laughs> my point is a lot of people overthink what they need to do. They stretch. They do this. Just try to move better in every workout you do, and eventually it will catch up. And How long did it take you to come up to that, to, like to, to, for that to shine a light on you? Because you used to sit and stretch. I still do, in fairness, I still do 15 or 20 minutes of just easy stretching at the end of the day. But it's more about just hitting the right range of motion on every movement, and you'll get better. Super simple. Practice you mean makes these perfect. functional movements increase your range of motion? Yeah. It's wow. pretty you don't need to do a lot of volume. So Katie's asking, do I, n uh, yeah, I'm saying you don't. I'll throw those on real quick, Katie. 
Cassidy's not talking over there. Cassidy's, <laughs> Cassidy's still recovering from the one million burpees he oh, did just now yeah, during the hazing crushed. that happens yeah. at the <laughs> at the seminar. Katie, what I was saying, I wasn't necessarily equating it to volume, but I'm just saying in any given workout. Well, what was your better. what was your question? Ask the question again. My question was, and it was a little bit of a rhetorical question. Better. Yeah. In that. Moving better doesn't mean you just have to do more shit, right? Like I need to work out more, I need to do more things, and then I will move better. If you are intentional with your movement, you move better, then that will lead to you being able to have more fitness, right? Absolutely. And not only that, if you move better, like you just said, you will accidentally become fitter because your times will go down and your weights will right, go Right, it's more efficient. Weight, yeah, yeah and more I mean, one of the first times I actually truly realized it was I was doing a lot of kettlebell swings, and I noticed when I really put it overhead well, my shoulders got more flexible in time. And that's what really, this is years ago. It took me a while to actually acclimate to that and do it myself. But that's when I started to realize it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know why we're talking about all this. Should we be celebrating my victory? I think we should. What do you want, sushi? What do you want for you, victory? You definitely want sushi. Well, I mean, Sparkling honestly... Water. I would like just Todd to just say a few nice things about me. <laughs> I think that's fair. We I did like already. Those sweatpants look no, really good on I want you. It to be, <laughs> I feel like I want it, it to good. be more genuine. I want Todd to be vulnerable. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, talk <laughs> we talked uh, at the training summit, we talked about leadership. You know, Todd, what was what was your weakness? I can't remember. I think, I think I it was, what was it, was. Katie? You remember what Todd's weakness was? Compassion, yeah. was oh. it? It was allowing himself to be vulnerable and... Um, what was it? Ad something about admitting when you need other people's help or input on being open to that and being more vulnerable to that. Well, That's what you said, if right? If you need my help on your back squats, I could certainly <laughs> skip in there. <laughs> um, but the word vulnerable is definitely he was, in there. Yeah, and I feel like what an opportune time for Todd to level up. <laughs> I have. I've life. complimented you since we've done this. You did fantastic. You Thanks. moved well. You completed. I think you had an extra 20 reps in there. I could have gone really before that hurt, like to the beyond the pain cave, I would have had to do another 20. 15 to 20. Like, yeah, and that would have been, been like, I don't, I'm useless for a week. I'll you're be a little sore tomorrow, but some, I'll be right. You're going to be useless at the end of this week. Yeah, your legs That's are That's just going to be from partying with Cassidy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you're going to be in bed at 8 o'clock the next Hopefully. two nights. Hopefully. Yeah, so Joe Maisley asked Jay what he um, weighs. At, at back home, I'm usually like 142 pretty regularly. I was going to say 145, regularly. yeah. I was probably a little little heavier on the road right now, but usually I'm happy between one four, around 142. So that was... What's percentage? Yeah. That's uh, 100 and 115%? 176, right? So... I don't know what math he just did. No, no. So, no, so uh, 23, uh, 123, right? is that what that is? 123% of your weight? Yeah. Right, so one body weight and a quarter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said, about, about, about a quarter plus your if body weight. If you were weight. judging that simply on form, what you, would you? You moved well. No, no, dude, it was good. It was a good set. You're, yeah. You couldn't tell when I was going on my toes almost on purpose? I mean, you can tell, but no, we, it's a, it's a set of 50 not. back squats. Yeah, yeah. Is that on film somewhere? Oh, yeah. Whole thing. Yeah. All right, we got the whole thing. The whole thing. So this will go up tomorrow. We'll, we'll lo let's set this up for tomorrow's episode. I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you. So we're recording it on Tuesday. It'll yep. be Wednesday's episode. Yep. We'll get the video up on YouTube. Uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that on Cassidy's phone? Yeah. Yeah. So right. I think so. So going with that conversation about just simple is better, right? So we did some. Just so everybody knows, we come to the trainer summit. It's now a every two year thing, and all of us are practicing all the things we do that we teach at the level one, level two. And then you, so you did a, you were a lead trainer for one of them. Yep. And then did you do an evaluation or you did the, no, you were, you were led one of them. So. Um, By the way, I'm just telling you, you know, that feeling of like, I wouldn't call it ecstasy, but when you're like, you've accomplished something and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh yeah. That's just what relief. I'm having. It's a relief right too, now. Right. Yeah. Like it would have felt good had I given it an effort regardless, but having finished it now, you feel like, I think everyone needs that in life like I think enough more people need to challenge themselves something silly even if it's just 50 back squats you think it was just looming over your head and you just want to get well, it over yeah with? like I heard you know I listened to the Joe Rogan podcast so we'll get back to your question yeah, yeah but people were asking like how he stays so humble being so like rich and famous and he suddenly goes to jiu jitsu and gets his ass kicked yeah and I think this is part of it whether or not I was successful just challenging yourself well, and giving you something to work towards 
like more people need those little goals. This is something silly between friends, but everybody can set that up at, at their box or at home. I think that's one of the biggest things I've learned from CrossFit in general. And if you're listening to this, I'm assuming that you do CrossFit. And if you haven't learned that lesson in CrossFit, like you're either cherry picking your workouts or you're not putting yourself out there. Because but I, in life, do, you know, typically like to do things I was good at. And if I wasn't good at it, I didn't do it. But and CrossFit makes you learn to it to be okay with failing because inevitably you're going to get your ass kicked at something and learn how to appreciate the effort you put forth. And so I think that's kind of what you're saying. Yes, I get what you're saying. You put a challenge out there yeah. that pushed you to do something. But just in general, like being satisfied for accomplishing something that, that you put a good effort into isn't necessarily as big as like the, the total outcome of this thing. And that happens if you go hard every day in a workout. I, that's why I love the Open too. That's like, exactly what I was thinking. Like The Open's great, not because I'm any good, but because I've figured out how to go hard each time and not like give up on myself. Speaking of that, what was your time on the Open? 14.45. That was well Ooh, done, Ooh, squeaked it in. Well, what'd you get, Todd? Dude, 170 reps. We tied. I also got 170. Oh, so, you know, it, had I just, you know, Todd and I recorded the episode last week about the Open, I think that's why it's important. But even had I not won or not finished, there's something about that relief of finishing. And I think that relief comes from knowing you're about to do something you truly don't want to do. Yeah, and yeah. while every given day you can have that at the box, I think it's important to have kind of these outstanding challenges. You know, this one, the Open, is only five workouts a well, year. Well, the difference between the gym and what you just did in the Open is, like, this was different because, in large part, like, you were accountable to us. Where, like, the gym, you're just accountable to yourself. Like, for the most part, like, nobody's... Yeah, I, I agree with that. The Open, I think, for whatever reason, although nobody's looking at your score, you feel accountable to everybody in the world because I think that everybody's going to be checking my score or whatever. This is the perception I have in my head. And so when I hear people give the old, well, I'm going to do the workouts. I'm just not going to sign up. I'm like, why? Just do what it. What the heck well, are you talking about? Why would you not sign up? You, you just told me you're going to do the workouts. If it's 20 bucks, I'll give you 20 bucks. Well, and I think for this, for example, I was trying to. I don't get. I might, I might do that next year. Just literally pay for everybody who's going to do it. Doesn't want to sign up. Oh, you heard it here, across the rife, <laughs> on firm. <laughs> no one signed. No, but I, I don't get like super hyped up. I don't scream or yell. Like I tend to get hyped up by staying focused. And I was going into that, and I was like, I need something during that to motivate me. And I couldn't think of it. I was like, Oh, is it my wife? Is it like, you know? But it was really just. I wanted like you know we get a couple thousand listeners on every episode that follow. And I wanted to do it to show them, like, hey, you can do something. This is a stupid challenge at the end of the day, right? 50 yeah. reps, no big deal. But I wanted to do it to show them, hey, you can just challenge yourself and accomplish something. So that's who I was doing it for. And All put, the best hour listeners. Well, well, I think what's cool is that you, like, you legitimately like, put yourself out there. Like, Yeah, if I missed, like, that was... People are going to know. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and, and <laughs> we've been talking about this for, what, three, four months, something for a while. like that now. For a and while. it would have been a lot easier to do this on your own on video. And keep pushing it back. Like, this is, in my opinion, probably the worst case scenario. Well, it would have been worse if you had Dave. I don't know. I think, I think the other. I think it's his best case. Like, because peer pressure is a thing. That peer helped. pressure, I Listening think the adrenaline to you guys, helps. And actually, this was like Rocky IV a little bit. <laughs> because. Are there you was comparing a, yourself I'm to Rocky Balboa? I'm comparing myself to Rocky Balboa. Because <laughs> I heard a moment in time <laughs> where Todd was like the announcer and he was like the fans in Russia. When they started cheering for Rocky, oh yeah, Todd. I heard Todd out of the corner of my like. Well, he, I heard him, and he was like, "He might do it. He's gonna do it." <laughs> at 30, and I, I was knew like, "You had it." Dude. And at I almost 30, was I mad. I was almost like, "Fuck you!" Like I want you to say I can't do it more, but I did feel a little like Rocky when he beat Drago. You know what I'm talking about, Maisley? I, I know. I know what you're talking Maisley about. Maisley was like Adrian in my corner from day one. We've been going at this since day one. Maisley, yeah. interning across in the Morristown. Back in the day. But Tan, what was your original question? No, it was kind of on the same note as just the humble piece, right? So, you know, for anybody who thinks that we never get feedback, uh, all three of us coached today in front of our peers uh, yeah, and, we got, yeah. and got asked to basically do a, essentially give a demonstration of what effective coaching is supposed to be. Yeah, do your job, but in front of your peers. And do it, that, and do it well. Where, were you more nervous for this or for that, Jay? I'll tell you what, this was the first time today coaching – that I felt actually confident in going out there. I agree 100%. And it took me, the, we've been, all of us have been on staff, six you know, six plus years. So, yeah, so you have 204? 204 seminars. You have 270. 
260, 260, yeah, 260. It, so 500 seminar, and I'm a 145. So the like, feeling you know, I had today almost 700. would have been very different than the feeling I would have had two years ago. Oh, and I remember the feeling two years ago. I was petrified. Yeah, and it's part of it's time under tension, and part of it is just knowing you have to have confidence in what you do. We do it every weekend. I practice, you know, surround myself with other trainers, you know, you guys and a bunch of other trainers that help us get better. And I think today was the first time I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to coach the hell out of this push press. And I wasn't even, I wasn't the least bit nervous. I wasn't know. either. And I mean, well, and Nicole I will Carroll, lie about that. By I, the way, so, Nicole like, Carroll came I, around during mine. So not, well, Boswatch, Boswatch, so, uh, so I'm not, I wasn't nervous, wasn't, isn't the right statement. I was nervous, but not, not because I felt unprepared. I'm nervous because I wanted to do well. Yeah, right, like nervous because you're in front of your peers. We talk about this at level twos all the time where I'm like, hey, guys, by the way, this is going to be the most nerve-wracking experience that yeah. you have in your coaching. <laughs> and we feel your pain because we feel the same way. Yeah. Right? And so getting up there, yeah, I was confident in what I do. I've done this, you know, a couple hundred times, but – I was nervous. I hadn't been that nervous coaching in a long time. And I'll but tell you, shows you I, went, I, I did go third, too, room. so so I tried to push sure. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you something else that helped that hopefully resonates with the listeners is now I think I was just on the level two staff two years ago when we got here, and now I've been on it for those two years. And we do something similar every weekend at the level two where we coach the group. Yeah. And I've done it enough, to, you know, probably 20 times since then where I get feedback, and it made me more confident. So I think – Part of that is attacking what you're not good at and making sure that you're getting feedback all the time. So what would you suggest people do? Charlesworth, what's our new, what's our new uh, website name? <laughs> Fitness Business Solutions for, for, for people that want to coach good. At, at, <laughs> at, dot com. Dot com. <laughs> at Fitness Facilities. Thunder Bros, best hour combining their powers oh. <laughs> for the longest business title in the history. Um, so on that note, so for people that – so how would you do this? If you're, if, so a lot of the things we get back is like, hey, I'm the only person at my gym. I don't really don't have anybody to give me feedback. Right? They, they're not lucky enough to be in this environment where you can come and you can show up and there's 200 people here that are really fucking good trainers. right? So like, how does a coach actually get some of this feedback um, and, re- and kind of replicate this environment in their box? Well, I think we're talking like, so let's separate the squatting and the push press group. No, right? That's what I'm talking but about. I'm talking in, about the groups. But the I groups. do think in general what I was going to say about that is a, you have to put yourself out there. A lot of people want to set goals. That goal would have been a lot easier in my mind had I not ever spoken about it with you and given myself that out for failure. Um, I had it recently. I was trying to remember where I recently had it, where I just, oh, it was during the Open. I saw a score, 9 plus 4. My buddy Vince, he got 9 plus 4, and he's very fit. And I was like, all right. In, in my mind as I approached that round, I was like, it's okay if I slow down because Vince only got this. Had I told you guys my goal is to finish it, my goal is to do this, it would have changed things. So even if it's coaching, you need to tell someone, whether it's us, whether it's your box owner or a friend, I want to get better at this. You know, put yourself out there, and then you need to find someone. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's, maybe you don't, if you don't have access to someone better, hey, watch me coach the push press and make sure I do 20 reps with the, me- with the members. Make sure I give out at least one cue per rep. And you could do that via video. Also. So if somebody doesn't have that, you give them the goal and just have them count it for you. I think, or just videotape yourself. I'll tell you what, for the first, when I started giving lectures on yeah. staff. Now bring it up closer. I took uh, yeah, there you go. every lecture that I did for probably my first 100 lectures. I would take my phone with me and record it. And then on my flight home that night, I would listen to my lecture and evaluate what I did wrong. Like hundred times, like the first hundred times that I did that. Because, yes, we get feedback, but we didn't get the detailed feedback that I wanted for myself. Yeah, I want to hear every word. Yeah, exactly. I want to know exactly what my filler words are. I felt this weird thing in this transition. How did that go? Um, So you've got to figure out ways to hold yourself accountable. I like it. And then if you can't, find some friends, throw a challenge down. Yeah. And then come and smash the challenge, Jay. That's smash you. Smash that challenge. That's what I do. The challenge. the challenge smasher. What's it feel to be a professional athlete with sponsorships? Yeah, you know. Um, are you going to start traveling around, you think, doing like – Are going to give squats? talks? Are you going to give talks? I give a, <laughs> about I'm, overcoming you know. adversity? I heard tomorrow you're going to talk about <laughs> leadership. It was going to be Chuck Carswell, but <laughs> I think Dave Castro wants me to – I got a text. I assume it was from Dave <laughs> while I was doing that. And he wants me to give a talk on adversity mm-hmm. and finding better friends. 
<laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Whoever said we were your friends? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, well, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad I did it. Uh, listen, I'm proud we didn't of you do anything. Then. We just you we, wit- we witnessed greatness. I'm looking what forward we did. to hear what it sounds like. I'm looking forward to see the video, and I'm looking forward to partying tonight, <laughs> celebrating. Celebrating. That's a better way yeah, to say it. Yeah, celebrating. And on that note, all right, all right. Let's do it. we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Improving your life or achieving your goals can sometimes feel like climbing a mountain. On the Tiny Leaps Big Changes podcast, host Greg Clunas gives practical tips and advice to help you build momentum towards accomplishing the seemingly impossible. Each episode provides research-based strategies or firsthand experiences on topics like mental health, fitness, nutrition, finances, career, and relationships. You can listen to the Tiny Leaps Big Changes podcast on Spotify or wherever else you listen to your favorite podcast. Thanks for listening to Best Hour of Their Day. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. How cool is that? There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer, so it becomes super simple. Some of these episodes with Fern or Todd or myself chatting with one another, we've done right within the app itself. Anchor will make it easy to distribute your podcast to all platforms, Spotify, Apple, and many more. And you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make an awesome podcast in one place. All you have to do is download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Thanks again for listening to Best Hour of Their Day. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, one more time, please leave us a review on Apple Podcast and send us any feedback you have to at Best Hour of Their Day on Instagram and Best Hour of Their Day at gmail.com if you want to shoot us an email. We appreciate you. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day.